Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and TGIF. Happy Friday. So, folks, I come to you today with a giveaway entry. Yes, you see, with Christmas being just around the corner, Muskoka Card Collector is holding a Christmas giveaway. Oh, yeah. And to enter, it's pretty darn simple. All you got to do is, besides being subbed to his channel, A, shout out his uh, Christmas giveaway in one of your videos, and then after doing so, go to his channel, and don't worry, there's a link in the description below to his channel, so it's easy to find. Uh, yeah, go to his channel, and in the comments of his Christmas giveaway video, let him know that you uh, did a shout out in one of your videos, and to make it easy on him, uh, leave a link to that specific video, and also in your comment, make sure to uh, leave the hashtag Christmas in Muskoka, or you could do option B, which is what I'm doing, a video response. And if you choose to do a video response, all you got to do is talk about some cards that are really special to you, or not even cards, plural. If you have one single card that's really special to you, uh, talk about it. And, and the cards you're talking about, along with them being special, uh, talk about some cards that were, like, given to you. Whether they were given to you by your parents, uh, best friend, Joe Schmo on the street, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe maybe there are cards from a giveaway, from a contest you won, a uh, card from, you know, a random act of kindness, whatever. But as long as they were given to you in some way, shape, or form, and they are special to you as well. That's all you got to do. And if you're worried about, uh, you know, time and actually getting your entries in, you don't have to worry because I believe the deadline for this giveaway is the 15th of January. So you got a lot of time. I mean, the giveaway went live yesterday. So yeah, you're, you're, you're golden. Don't worry. Anyway, so... With all the fundamental stuff out of the way, what do you say we get down to checking out some cards that are special to me? Shall we? All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, folks. So this first card I got for you is one that I actually got quite recently. And it's of a player that I watched on TV quite a bit growing up as a kid. Uh, this is a green parallel, number to 149, from Upper Deck Stature. And it is of none other than Mr. Mike Medano. Now, some of you out there may look at this and go, why is this card special to you? It's just another run-of-the-mill insert, right? Well, to some, maybe. But to me, this card is special because of the player, Mike Medano. Like I said, I, I grew up watching this guy quite a bit. Uh, I remember, you know when he broke into the league with the, the Minnesota North Stars. And then later on, when the North Stars became just the Dallas Stars, you know, I remember watching him on TV quite a bit. Um, I remember I remember the Stars Cup run in 1999. Uh, I remember watching that, that game six that took four ever <laughs> because it went to triple overtime and even though it wasn't Mike Medano who scored the winning goal we all remember it was Brett Hull um you know seeing seeing him finally hoist the cup over his head was was pretty damn special uh I remember I remember when he announced that he was retiring and I was like wow Medano's hanging up the skates, you know, like that was that was a pretty big moment. So yeah. <laughs> also, this card is special because of who it comes from. Uh this card comes my way via uh awesome mystery pack from the dynamic duo of Seth and Ethan over on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. 
Now, I said Seth and Ethan, but a lot of you out there may know them as Beauty Breaks. And let's just say when when I pulled this card out of, you know, one of their uh, mystery packs, uh, I had this feeling come over me as if I was pulling Medano's rookie card from from 1990 uh, Upper Deck Hockey. That That's how I felt. And uh, to, to get a feeling like that over, you know, any hockey card, I think that counts as special. So that's why... This is card number one in today's video. The next card I have here comes from a, a good buddy of mine, local buddy by the name of Sylvain. Uh, I've showed you cards that I've bought from him before. Uh, he does a lot of selling on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, a lot of the times he'll post stuff. I'll take a look at what he's got and I'll be like, oh, it's cool, but eh, I'm, I'm I, I'm not going to get anything, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to my bucks. But then every now and then he'll post some stuff and I'm like, ooh, I want that. Well, this card came to be out of one of those, ooh, I want that situations. Uh, a little while back, he posted some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, a lot of the stuff he posted was uh, Marty Brodeur stuff. And as you all know... IPC Marty Brodeur. Well, I hit him up and, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, I want this, 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 and this. He's like, okay. And then I also noticed that he had a um, Duke Snyder sticker auto. Now, a lot of you out there may know I live in Montreal. At one point, we did have a baseball team. And in the very, very early days, before the Expos were even here, uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers, their their farm team was located here, the Montreal Royals. And there were quite a few big names who played for the Royals, namely Duke Snyder, Tommy Lasorda, uh, another guy some of you may have heard of, oh, what the hell is his name, J Jackie Robinson? <laughs> You know, so Duke Snyder has a lot of history with Montreal. And I mean, it's the Duke, you know, and to get an auto by the Duke, that's just friggin' awesome. So I asked him, I was like, is this still available? He's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. I want that as well. And then I, I just took a deep dive through past stuff that he posted. And, and I came across this one picture of a uh, 1978 Fleer Super Bowl card. And it just so happened to be signed, hand signed, you know, not out of a Panini pack or whatever, hand signed by Terry Bradshaw. Now, I know I don't talk a lot of football, but there are a few football signatures that I would love to own. Namely, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana, Joe Namath, uh, Terry Bradshaw is one of them, uh, and there's there's a bunch more. But anyway, so I, I asked Sylvain, I was like, hey, is the, is the Terry Bradshaw still available? And he's like, oh man, he goes, that that's going back a while. I don't even know if I still have that. But he told me, he goes, if I do, I'll bring it with me when we meet and we can make a deal on it. I was like, okay, cool. I go to meet him. I go to get the cards. He shows me the Duke Snyder. I get giddy as hell. I pay him for, for all the other stuff. Thank you very much. We go our separate ways. Bing, bang, boom. I get home. I'm going through all the cards, you know, putting them in their designated areas in my collection. And lo and behold, the very last card I pull out of the, uh, out of the bag is... The 1978 Super Bowl card signed by Terry freaking Bradshaw. Yeah, he basically threw that in for free without even telling me. Um, it's it's not every day someone gives away a Terry Bradshaw auto willy-nilly. And uh, for someone to do that, well, that's pretty damn special to me, so... That's, that's why this card is number two 
in today's video. Uh, I have three more, technically four cards to show you. So this next card comes from a awesome YouTuber and Instagrammer uh, by the name of Spidey. And let me just tell you this. If you stumble upon his YouTube channel, I can guarantee you right now that you will not get through one of his videos without cracking up. Because Spidey, this guy, man, this guy is a riot. Well, anyway, he got in contact with me a little while back on Instagram. And he told me, he goes, bro, I want to send you a care package. And I was like, well, for starters, you know, at the time, no one sends me care packages. I'm, I, I'm a small blip on the YouTube map, you know, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, anyway. But I'm like, okay, you don't have to, but if you want to, sure, be my guest. So I gave him my address and everything, and he sent me a Spidey style package uh, I, I got the uh, the package in the mail, and I knew it was from him right away due to all the awesome Spider-Man stickers all over it. So right there, I was like, he's sending me a package that's special. But it was the cards inside that made it even more special. Now, Spidey, he he's like me. He still likes to collect Pokemon, and he collects Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. I... I I haven't done Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time. Uh, the, the most recent Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff I bought was actually the uh, Legendary Collection from Walmart. Comes in a really fancy gold box and that. And the main reason why I bought it is because the, uh, the, three, um, the three Legendary God cards are in there. And Obelisk is my favorite. And I know I'm probably never going to own any of the original ones that came out. So... That was the next best thing. And also, I think all five pieces of Exodia are in it, too. And that's a pretty big deal in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. Anyway, but that's the most recent Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff I bought. But um, in this uh, package he sent me, uh, there were some Patrick Waugh cards, which is friggin' awesome. Uh, you know, it's always cool to get stuff for my PC. And he threw in some Pokemon cards. Namely, this awesome tag team of... Solgaleo and Lunala, and he threw in this really cool dark vile plume, um, hollow from uh, Team Rocket. And just before clicking record on this video, I realized that it's a first edition Team Rocket dark vile plume. And as of recently, with a lot of big name YouTubers and whatnot, they're cracking this stuff like crazy. And uh, first edition stuff is, uh, Mucho dinero. So, you know, now that I uh, that I look back and see that it's a first edition Team Rocket card, I'm like, you know, I'm very thankful to have this in my collection. And I could have stopped right here saying this was special, but no, it, it's even it gets even better because of this card that he threw in. This is from 1994, no, 93. This is 1993 uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice and is a rookie card of Mr. Michael Jordan. Now, I know a lot of you out there, you probably look at this card and go, Pfft. man, when that came out, I had about 15 or 20 of them and they're all sitting in a shoebox now or, or I sold them for super cheap or whatever. I know there's a lot of you out there probably saying that. But this is special to me because, for one, Spidey didn't have to do that. Spidey, or Scotty, however you like to go about calling him. But, uh, you know, he didn't have to do that, and he did. So, right away, that's special. Secondly, it's Michael frickin' Jordan. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of basketball stuff. I do own a Michael Jordan basketball card. Although it is not here, it is currently with a bunch of stuff uh, sitting in my storage locker. It's not like his rookie card or anything. But uh, I remember a while back when I used to collect 
uh, I used to go to this video store in the in the town where my mom lived, and I used to get random packs of sports cards, and uh, I, I randomly bought a basketball pack one time, tops, and I think it was like from 2000 or whatever, and I ended up pulling a Michael Jordan card, and I was like, whoa, this is awesome, you know, and I, I still have it to this very day, so that's something, but that that's the only Michael Jordan basketball card I have. And I knew about this, this Michael Jordan card, as well as the, the other upper deck Jordan that everyone goes crazy for the, the short print or whatever. That's another one I don't own. I would like to one day, but since the uh, Netflix um, documentary came out and everything about the bulls and that uh, price wise, it's, it's a little out of my reach, but whatever. And, um, yeah, now now I got sidetracked. But the main reason why this is special to me is because one, Spidey didn't have to send it to me, and two, it's Michael Jordan. So that's why. Now, the next card I got here is actually a honorable mention. Yes. This card is from 1999's Upper Deck Century Legends set. And it is of Mr. Bill Durnan. Now, this card comes to me from Muskoka Card Collector. <laughs> a little while back, I sent him a care package, and he returned the favor. He didn't have to, but he did. And I know when it comes to contests and whatnot, usually the one who's holding the contest doesn't want to see stuff that you got from them. But I felt it was only necessary to try and work this work this into the video anyway because this card is special to me because one Bill Dernan played for the Montreal Canadiens I live in Montreal as I just said before and the Habs even though since 93 have kind of been eh, they're still my team two the set this card is from I've been trying to put this set together for quite some time now, and it's proven very difficult. And yes, I know I could, you know, find all the cards online and whatnot, but there's some cards I prefer to actually try and find myself. And yeah, this this is a set that's proven to be kind of difficult to find. I don't see these cards every day. So if I find even one randomly in a box of cards or... If, if if I manage to get one out of a Dollarama pack or something, I, I go freaking nuts because these cards to me are freaking beautiful. There's 50 in the whole set, and yeah. <laughs> so I have to try and find a way to slip this in somehow. So yeah, that's that. This next card comes to me from a random person. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but um, years ago, I used to be really big into collecting autographs in person, and I became friends with one uh, one of the uh, local autograph hounds, and uh, one time, and I've told this story before, one time uh, I went down to the Bell Center to get some autographs from the Habs, and it was their last game before the Christmas break, and I remember telling this, this uh, autograph hound, uh, I forget his name now. Uh, two autographs I would love to own. This was at the time in my collection were Bioria Salming and Wayne Gretzky. Because how do you how do you not want to own an autograph from Wayne Gretzky, right? Well, anyway, this particular night, like I said, it was the last game before the Christmas break. Uh, I'm about to leave, and he goes, "Hey, I got something for you." So I'm like, "Okay." So he pulls out of his jacket a Bioria Salming card signed. He goes, here you go. I'm like, oh, wow, cool. And then he goes, oh, I have something else for you. And I'm like, oh. He goes, here you go. Merry Christmas. And he pulls this out. This is a 1981 Opeachy Wayne Gretzky signed by the great one himself. Let's just say when, when he handed this card to me, I was speechless <laughs> because it's not every day someone gives you Wayne Gretzky's autograph. 
But then he told me how he got them, and I was like, oh, that's why you don't mind getting rid of this card. Uh, he said back in the day when the Habs were still playing at the old Forum, so this is any time from 96 and prior, um, there was a February game the Habs were playing. I don't know if it was when, when he was still with the Oilers or if, if they were playing L.A. Anyway, um, there was a February game. It was snowing and everything, and he was waiting by the players' entrance, and Gretzky was the last guy out, and he looked at him, Gretzky looked at the guy and said, if you were waiting in this type of weather just for me, he goes, I will sign anything you have. And apparently he had like 10 of the same card like this and a bunch of other stuff, and apparently Gretzky being the class act he was, or is, he signed every single thing. So that's why he said he didn't mind getting rid of one of these. But still, to give away a Wayne Gretzky autograph, that's just special in its own right. So, yeah. And now, this last card comes from another YouTuber, Canadian YouTuber, Mike, from Mr. Mike, a.k.a. Canadian Cards. Uh, I got this from Mike uh, when he was pretty much busting into the YouTube scene. Um, I got this from winning his 100 subscriber contest. In fact, this was the uh, the main prize for his contest. And when I found out I won, I, I was shocked. And still to this day, when I hold this card in my hand, I can't believe I actually own one because to own any... Any cards from this player's playing career is like, you know, creme de la creme in collecting. And it is, of course, none other than my 1966 Tops Mickey Mantle. Yeah. That's, that's just special right there. <laughs> Plain and simple. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Mike, Mike was holding his uh, 100 subscriber contest. I entered, I won, and that was the big prize. And again, still to this day, I, I can't believe I own a Mickey Mantle card in my collection. Because, I mean, you, you could get, you know, commemorative Mantle cards or reprints and whatnot. But to actually own a card from his playing career, that's just something else. I know, I just repeated myself. That's that's how in awe I am of this card. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's why this, th this card sits right on the top shelf in my display case for the world to see. Um, this is probably uh, my most valued card in my collection. It is definitely one of my most special cards in my collection. And uh, will be for as long as I live. Or at least until I actually get a Carl Yastrzemski rookie card in my collection. Then this guy might slip to spot number two. Who knows. But uh, that, that day will get here eventually. <laughs> anyway. So I've held you here for over 20 minutes. I apologize dearly for talking so long. But uh, you guys know me. I love to talk. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video just the same. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. As well, make sure to go check out this awesome giveaway uh, being held by Muskoka Card Collector. And also, if you'd like to check out any of the people that I mentioned in today's video, links will be in the description below to all their... Uh, all their socials, whether it be Instagram or YouTube. So you guys can go check them out. Give them all the likes and follows and subscriptions and all that jazz. And um, yeah, that's about it. So everyone who is uh, deciding to uh, take part in this give you, uh, give you away, give away, I wish you all the best of luck. And um, yeah, let's have some fun. I look forward to seeing your special cards. Uh, as well, uh, before leaving, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as I say at the end of every video, folks, 
keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, P.S. I wanted to say, what do you think of my new uh, my new intro? I, I decided finally to change things up a bit because the old one I was using when I actually upload videos through my laptop, uh, I found that one was kind of getting a little stale, so I wanted to switch things up a bit. And yeah, if you're curious, when you watch my videos, all videos that don't have an intro, they're all done on my cell, and uh, all ones that are done with an intro are usually done through my computer. Just a little uh, little he heads up there, in case anyone actually cared. <laughs> anyway, enough talking. You guys have a great day, and like I said, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, laters.